It's good to see you, and it's great y'all are working together again after Big Bang. How did this come about? Um, well, um, Jim came to me. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, you, you can say it. I came to you while on the set Jim, one day. Jim came to me, and he said, I want to know what you think about this project that my company has. It's this Miranda show. It was really popular on the BBC. And so I went home. I did a little research, and I came back the next day, and I said, well, Jim, that seems like a really awesome project. Good luck. I, you got my vote of confidence. And he said, no, I'm asking because I want you to be in it. And I was shocked because I think I'm very annoying. But however annoying I am, he obviously still wanted to work with me. Yes, Jim? I think, you're, I think that the annoying quality you bring is what America responds to, Maya. I think that's what this character wanted. Right. That's very relatable. Everyone loved, we know someone annoying, so that's, that's <laughs> perfect. Um, tell everybody what the show is about. Uh, Jim, you want me to take this one or you want it? <laughs> well, you're working on it, so please. Okay. Um, this is a show about a 39-year-old uh, single woman who does not have the life that society often says 39-year-old women should have, but she's happy anyway. She has an exciting career. She just opened a cat cafe. Yes, a cat cafe. And uh, we have some amazing, amazing guest stars. We have Susie Kurtz playing my mom and Leslie Jordan and Cheyenne Jackson, Kyla Pratt and Julian Gant. And we're just having a blast uh, making this show about a very, very quirky woman. She's sloppy, she's messy, she's sometimes vulgar, she's socially anxious. I don't wear Spanx in real life, so she doesn't have to wear Spanx either. That's a really good thing. <laughs> and and you work with a lot of cats. You already you have three cats, right? I do. So I'm a, I am a cat person, and my character is as well. We like to say she's not a sad cat lady. She's a rad cat lady. <laughs> but you, but you have. I mean, I, I just I look at that and I think I you know you know cats. I know cats. They usually don't get along. So how do these actor cats all of a sudden meet each other and not get into these cat fights? Okay. So here's the thing about our cats. Um, and I should say, I'm a vegan, and so I was very, um, very pleased. We do not have cats that are tethered or drugged. These are just like real cats. Many of them are the ragdoll breed, which is a breed that literally likes to chill out. And these cats are raised as kittens to be around other people and other cats. The exception is a cat named Piper, who played Firework, who did not like to be around other cats. So we had to kind of block for Piper special. So Piper didn't make it, Piper's audition didn't uh, work out. Well, Piper just had to be in scenes just with me, and Piper didn't really care for me either, but okay. Piper looked like you a fire around that. Right. It's amazing what we'll do in Hollywood. We'll put up with anything if you got the right look. Yeah. <laughs> Even with cats, you're right. That, that's taking it too far. Um, and you have not been uh, to the set, Jim, because of your, your, your COVID. Um, okay. But also, you're allergic to cats. So how, how... I am. Yeah. How did you decide to produce a show about a bunch of cats knowing you're going to have to visit that set? It's the only way he could plan to work with me if he never had to be around me because I'm so annoying. <laughs> No, no, I'll tell you honestly, I, I kind of didn't think of, well, first off, when we were proposing it, it, Darlene Hunt, who is running the show, she placed it in the Cat Cafe. The original Miranda wasn't, and so I didn't realize this nightmare was going to take place in that way. However, there was one time very early on in Big Bang where at one point they were tossing around that idea for a script, and they came up and asked me, are you allergic to cats by any chance? And I said, yeah, I am. My eyes get puffy and whatever. About a week later, the script showed up with a box of Claritin. And it was like, well, here, we're going to do one where you're surrounded by cats the whole episode. And Maya was actually there for that. So I have gone through that. And if I don't touch my face like I keep doing right now, there I am. And look at that. But I didn't. I was fine. I just didn't touch my face. So. Wow. That's, I can't believe that they knew you were allergic to cats and wrote an episode with you surrounded by cats. It's just... Well, I'll tell you this. They asked me a few seasons later if I could uh, ride a unicycle, and I, I nearly had a digestive issue when I said no, because I thought, oh, my God, they're going to make me do it. I'm going to crack my skull open. That's just how they roll around here. <laughs> oh, you can't? Well, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of po Portia's goals, is to learn how to ride a unicycle. She's, she's really interested in unicycles. She, she's I mean, never... I'm going to take about like four strengths. 
Yeah, it takes a lot of core strength. She's, she got a, a three cycle instead of a unicycle.